In these next segments, we have a summary of what the lesson was about. And he asks me his own question, which was basically, how does the Bible give us hope? And the answer to that is, the Bible shows how God is choosing a people for his own possession, for his own glory, all of which gives us comfort if we are his. In summary, the Bible offers advice for daily life, answers important questions, and gives people comfort and hope. So, just ask the question, so, how do you think the Bible does give someone comfort and hope? It's not written, but just what you would say in your own words. Um, what, what is, how does it give us hope? You, you, yeah. How does it give us hope? Yeah. Um, well, if in uh, the beginning when God created man, sinless and able to to obey him and uh, and commune with him as he walked in the garden um, it, it gives us hope to know that this is going to occur you know this is where God is drawing a, a people to himself through faith in Christ that we can once again have peace with God because mm -hmm. our iniquities have been paid for by Christ mm -hmm. and and you know in uh we will be resurrected yeah and so would you say that brings you comfort it does. Okay. And, and Christ will put all his enemies under his feet, the last being death. Yes. And the, and the last day. Yes. And we will all stand before God to stand before Jesus to give a an account of what we've done in our bodies. Mm -hmm. Whether good or bad, the resurrection... Now, Rich's hope, the fellow I'm talking to, is that we would have a thousand years to perfect ourselves and make ourselves worthy of eternal life. And he also goes on to speculate about a test at the end of this thousand year period. And it sounds like his speculations are what gives him hope. Well, let's hope that we have a thousand years to grow to perfection after the system ends, that we would be able to measure up very comfortably, and that there will probably be a test at the end of the thousand years. And it's my guess and probably some others that the test will be very simple just like it was for Adam and Eve it was a very simple test just don't eat the fruit from this particular tree there could have been 25 or 50 or more similar or the same all around but that was his he said, that's that's mine don't touch so it could be that simple well, is that uh, is that a, a speculation or is that in scripture? Yeah, it's a speculation on my part. So oh, okay. don't go around quoting me. All right. But <laughs> it, you know, we we all have um, speculations about when's it going to end, or why is this happening, or why doesn't this happen? So and then it maybe it happens and maybe it doesn't happen. But anyway, so you. You, that helps to, that gives you some form of the hope that you have for the future. Let's see.
review questions now. It says, what kind of advice can we find in the Bible? Just give me a one-word answer. A one-word answer? Uh, well, it's up to you. I said, but it can be. What kind of advice? True advice. <laughs> Good. I like that. Okay. So what are some questions that the Bible answers? And, you know, that could be one or two or whatever. How we have peace with God. How we can... Uh, yeah. What must I do to be saved? Okay. Excellent answer. And at the end, he slips up and calls the Holy Spirit He, which is not Watchtower Doctrine, but is Orthodox Christian Doctrine, which he can't help but call the Holy Spirit He, because He is quoted throughout the Bible, and He is called He throughout the Bible. Right.